really to have them more um, in terms of prepared on how to handle any situation out here in the Chiquibul forest. Um, so part of the training was on first aid and rescue and then also tactical interventions and um, and then they learned also about the green law which really relates more to environmental protection and then uh, we also had um, a person from the Ministry of, of, um, of Foreign Affairs who did um, on confidence building measures. This one is the second training. Um, so we did one last year in January also, and then we concluded this um, second one, of course, um, as how it was informed by the, um, in terms of the reports um, that we are getting, of course, we need to run more trainings, um, you know, as something that, um, that we can do it more constant so that the Rangers can be much more, you know, better prepared. How do you think that maybe you, you can have better rangers the way how to have better rangers is really to get um, you know those individuals who are really determined in doing such a work um, i think that is really one of the main um you know sort of of aptitudes that we want um, because living back here in the forest is not really anything easy you know particularly rangers um, you know our fcd rangers they have to go into um, activities of patrols which can take them you, you know multi days and also the area is quite rugged and um, and extensive what we want to inform the public is that um, an area such as the chikibul forest which is located in the Cayo district um, the only way that we can be able to protect it is by doing um, a sort of a presence of rangers in the field. And thus the training component for us is really critical in order really to protect the Chiquibul. And we also want really to give um, our gratitude to all the people who supported us um, under the Teleton program that was conducted um, you know, more than a year ago, um, because that was what really helped us really to get the ranger force here in place.